This VAWatchdog.org news video is brought to you by Bergman and Moore, LLC. Former VA attorneys now fighting VA for you. Call Bergman and Moore at 877-838-2889 or on the web at vetlawyers.com. Head injuries from roadside bombs are among the biggest threats to frontline soldiers. But Pentagon officials may have found a better way to provide protection. Technology used on the football field could soon be adapted for the battlefield. Here's Kimberly Dozier. It was one of those eureka moments. Army doctors home from Iraq and Afghanistan were watching NFL players pound it out and thought, that's what our soldiers need. Helmets like that. Because believe it or not, the effects on the brain of this can be a lot like this. Last strong enough to shake and even bruise the brain, often leading to traumatic brain injury known as TBI. Oh, ID. Today, an estimated 30% of troops who've served in combat suffer from TBI after repeated exposures to blasts in Iraq and Afghanistan. Researchers at three major army hospitals put the idea to the test. And a marriage between football and the military was born. Let's just look and see if we take a football helmet who's designed to prevent concussion and jury-rig that into an Army combat helmet and then test it and see if we couldn't decrease the uh, instance of concussion. Did it ever? These pads perform better than those pads. How much better? 50% better. 50% better? 50% better. A blow to the head accelerates the skull inside the helmet and the brain inside the skull. The helmet's multiple layers of special foam padding absorb most of the energy, especially along the sides of the helmet, where the most dangerous blows occur. Current military helmets have only a fraction of that padding. The Army has sent out a call to NFL helmet makers like Bridell, telling them, apply their technology to combat helmets, and we'll buy hundreds of thousands of them. We're going through an evaluation process right now just to see if we could bring some of our materials and design expertise um, to the to the combat helmet. They've done it before. Founder John Riddell invented World War II's classic web suspension helmet. A different war means different challenges. We're looking for a patch system that is compatible with the advanced combat helmet. Uh, we're looking for a uh, patch that can uh, meet our requirements of sustaining blunt trauma at 10 feet per second. If they find the right one, military officials say they could field helmets in Iraq and Afghanistan in less than 90 days, tackling the challenges of modern warfare head on. Kimberly Dozier, CBS News, Fort Belvoir, Maryland. VAWatchdog.org, the nation's number one independent veterans website. On the web at VAWatchdog.org.